Hi, my name is Jason. And I'm Jackie, and I'll be helping demonstrate the thruster. Remember, the thruster is a combination move between a squat and an overhead press. We're going to be utilizing the legs, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, the core, chest, shoulders, and triceps. So it's an all-encompassing move. And without wasting any more of your time, I'm going to let Jackie show you how to perform the thruster properly. Thank you, Jackie. We're going to go over some key points in the thruster. Remember, the thruster is a squat into an overhead press, so we're combining two movements together. We're going to have Jackie approach the bar, and we're actually going to have her pick it up just like we do our traditional deadlift. Okay, so we're going to bring the bar up, and we're going to use a little bit of some of those clean, some of that clean practice, right? So we're going to bring the bar up. She's going to bring it into the rack position. Now what we want her to do is we want her to set her feet into her squat position. Remember that squat position is the feet are located just under the shoulders. Hip to shoulder, anywhere in that range is actually good, depending on your flexibility. We want the bar to be in the rack position. She's going to go down for a full squat, making sure she reaches that hip below the knee. So she's going to squat. Once she reaches the bottom, she's going to drive up and then fully extend those arms overhead, making sure that she gets a bit back in a neutral position, or you'll hear a lot of times head through the window. So she's gonna go down one more time, great job. She's gonna keep those knees open, right? Toes out, drive up, and extend. Now look, full extension at the top, elbows are extended, and shoulders are driving toward the ceiling. She's gonna go ahead and come on down, and one more time, big drive, good. And as you'll notice, she's using that hip thrust to create the drive. Let's go ahead and turn sideways for her. Okay, so we're going to show some side angles for you guys, so you can turn with uh, facing the other way, sorry. Now, this will give you a good demonstration of the rack positioning, right, in that nice vertical position. As you see, she doesn't have her butt back, she's not standing back anywhere there. Hips are neutral, spine is neutral, elbows are nice and tall. She's going to keep those elbows up as she travels down to the squat. That hip will break the knee, she'll drive up, and then use that thrust to throw that bar overhead. Okay, one more time for me. Actually, let's get two more reps. So she's going to, again, keeping the elbows high, come up. Notice the speed and power at which you can perform this movement, making sure the weight stays in the heels as you drive, and extend that bar fully overhead, locking those elbows out, driving those shoulders toward the ceiling. Let's give me one more for good measure, Jackie. You got good form. And up. Great job. Thank you very much, Jackie. Appreciate that. Some common faults you might find with the thruster. Uh, we talk about the knee out position quite frequently when we talk about squatting and because this is a combo move of the squat and a press overhead, we still want those knees out. So we're going to show you what a bad one looks like and Jackie's going to screw herself all up just for us, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pick that bar up, alright? She's going to bring the bar to the rack position. Now, we're going to have her travel to the bottom of this squat and we're going to have you just hold it for a split second. So we're going to turn those toes out and assume the air squat position. Now as she goes down, a lot of times what you'll find is some new people will grab those knees in. We want to actually correct that. Push those knees out, upright chest position, right? Let's go ahead and stand on up. Good. So at the bottom, we don't want those knees to collapse in. We want to make sure they're out, knees over the toes. Can you show me that one more time? So she's going to go down. If she grabs those knees in before she comes up, that's an incorrect position. We want to open those knees. Nice strong position, that way we can allow the hips to work, right, and not stress those knees. Another bad position would be the elbows, okay, common fault would be dropping of the elbows. You have to be careful on this one, as you'll see when she goes down, the bar is going to want to come off the chest. So as she travels downward, that thing is pulling her over the whole time, right? So she's going to correct that by driving those elbows high, cause the spinal extension, she's going to stand up, excellent job. We're going to show that from the side again, so go ahead and switch for me. Again, with that rack position, we're looking not to lose that elbow position. We want to have a nice vertical elbow. You're looking for that tricep to be just about parallel with the ground. So if she drops this elbow, so show me that bad one again, and begin that squat. Watch your back, sorry. As you see, it's going to try to pull her over. She's going to correct by lifting that elbow high and standing up. Okay, give me one more good one. So again, a nice rack position would be the elbows high. She's going to drop down, keep those elbows up, and then she's going to drive all the way up overhead into that thruster. Okay. We're going to go for one more from this angle with the elbows high. The lack of extension at the elbow overhead is another common fault. So what we want to do is make sure we clear the head through the window or line up in neutral position. So we want to cover that, that arm over the ear and we want to make sure that elbow is in full extension. So we're going, to we're going to show me a bad extension, okay? So down nice and easy. We're going to drive up, 
partial extension and you notice the bar actually traveled out in front. So that's another problem that happens when you lose that rack as well. So she's going to do that again. Another bad common fault is not extending that bar overhead. So let's try that again. Good. And lack of extension and no head through. There it is. So this is what we want to do is to correct that is allow that bar to travel straight right. One more time, sorry. <laughs> We're going to go down nice and easy and press fully overhead into full extension lining up that ear. Excellent job, Jackie. You can set that down. And those are your common faults for the thruster. Remember, the thruster is a full body movement utilizing a squat into a press. So we're actually going to be using our legs, we're going to be using our quads, glutes, hamstrings, core, shoulders, chest, triceps. It's an all-encompassing move. Also, you might notice it works the cardiovascular system, especially when performed in high repetitions with light weight. If you want to replace that for sprinting, give it a shot. Try 25 with the barbell in a row with a nice moderate pace. It should smoke you. I want to thank Jackie for helping us out today. Let me tear your back to pieces, all right? <laughs> and thank you for joining my viewer source.